in five simple steps in less than five minutes, I'm gonna show you how to capture incredible shutter drag landscapes at the beach. Bookmark this video because this is the ultimate reference guide. My name is Pai, and I'm one of the founders of Lynn and Jersa Photography and slrlounge.com. We're teaming up with Adorama to bring you a new series of photography tutorials called Master Your Craft right here on Adorama TV. So let's dive in. What's up guys, my name is Pi. Welcome to Adorama TV. We've only got five minutes. Let's dive straight into this. Step one, well, you can use any camera you'd like, but I would recommend a wider angle lens. I'm gonna be using the new Sigma 16 to 28 mil, but choose whatever you like. We'll also link up all the gear that I'm using in the description of the video. You're also gonna need a tripod, but look, step two, before you worry about getting the camera onto the tripod or the placement, I want you to think composition. When it comes to composing your shot, what I like to do is compose from an angle where I'm in the action and where the water's moving across the frame, not directly towards me. See, if the water's moving towards the lens, the motion's not gonna be exaggerated. So what I'm gonna do is step out to this rock right here, And from a compositional standpoint, I'm gonna to shoot towards this direction so that the water's moving left to right across the frame, we get exaggerated motion. Okay, now step three, once you've got an idea of your composition, then go ahead, place your tripod, get your camera secured, and start dialing in your actual composition. So I'm gonna do that right here. I'm using the Peak Design Travel Tripod. This is a super lightweight tripod. It's sturdy for what it is, but you really get it for kind of the overall size. You can use, again, whatever you'd like. Now, once this is here, I'm gonna dial in the actual composition. And again, I like to be on the wider side so that we get a little more exaggerated motion. Do make sure that wherever you're placing yourself and your camera, it's a safe spot. We shoot here quite a bit. We know that the waves are not gonna reach me. Step four, with that composition dialed in, you're ready to actually get to the exposure. But when it comes to exposure, I want you to think creatively first. This is a shutter drag. And that means that I want you to think first of what you want the motion to actually look like. From there, simply dial in the exposure settings on your aperture and ISO to get to the right place. Now I'm gonna show you an example of different looks based on different shutter speeds. There is no right and wrong, just choose the shutter speed that matches the look you wanna go for. Step five, everything's dialed in, you're gonna wait for the right motion and just shoot away. Now one thing that you can do is you can use a shutter release or you can just use the app on your phone to release the shutter. I'm gonna use my hand because I'm comfortable pressing the shutter release, but when you do that, just be careful to not cause the camera to shake at all. So one thing you can do is turn on high frame rate, that way you shoot a sequence of images as the water's coming through. Side note, I like to shoot when the water's coming through and also when it's going out because you get different looks. Let's do it and see what we get. Since we still got time in our five minutes, here's a quick bonus tip. Once you've got the shot, go and find a different angle. I absolutely love the shot that I'm getting from this angle as well. All my settings are dialed in. Move, have fun, play. For me, unless I'm looking for sort of a fog or misty kind of effect, I really like that one second to two second shutter speed. It's kind of my sweet spot. But again, whatever you like, whatever look you're going for, it's gonna look awesome. I hope you all enjoyed the video. If you did, I'd love for you to like the video, subscribe to the channel, and Leave me comments below. You guys can leave questions, thoughts. I love reading not only everything you write, but I get a lot of my ideas from the questions that you guys ask. In the meantime, you guys can follow me at PyJerse on Instagram, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace.